when we started working on cannabinoids, which was many, many, many years ago, in the 60s, we isolated a, a, quite a large number of uh, compounds in, in hashish, which is the resin of cannabis. And of course, there was a cannabidiol, the major compound. We looked in collaboration with many friends at the activity of some of these compounds, but we still don't know much about them. For example, there is a compound which we call cannabigerol. We know very little about it. It seems to have anti-cancer properties, but uh, it has to be looked into it much more. Anandamide has never been given to a human. So we don't know what it does when administered to a human, which is again a strange situation. We know that it's not toxic, we know that uh, uh, it, uh, it is formed in the body when needed and immediately broken down. Uh, nobody has seen any uh, major side effects in animals and yet it has never been administered to a human, although it was discovered by us in 1992. Compare this to what happened with insulin. When insulin was discovered in the body, in the 20s in Canada. Within six months it became a drug. It was given to a few patients uh, after they found that it's not toxic. Given to a few patients, uh, insulin was found to lower diabetes and it became a drug, an excellent drug, still widely used. We synthesized new compounds which are much more active than cannabidiol. So we are developing them and hopefully they can become uh, new drugs. The moment we have more practical things, looking at endogenous cannabinoid-like compounds, which uh, seem to be of major importance. Basically, what I'm doing at the moment is collaborate with a huge number of people, and we do the chemistry. So there is a thing that we can start, initiate. We do the chemistry. My collaborators do the biology in different fields and together we come up with a uh, with something that hopefully contributes. We do a lot of research and it involves uh, investment in uh, in the people that uh, that do the work in my lab. I have a, a small group, uh, two or three people working part-time. You have to find money to support the lab and support the people that work in the lab. There's still basic things that have to be learned. Strangely enough, still after so many years, we don't know enough about the compounds, the activity of the compounds in the plant itself. Very strange, but that's where we are. We know a lot about THC, we know a lot of CBD, but we know very little about some of the other compounds.